Hello, I'm John Thorne from Civil Science Shooting Centre. And if you're wondering why I stand next to this big wooden porcupine, it's because we're here to announce our new Precision Rifle Shooting League here at Silverstone. Now, Precision Rifle Shooting is actually that. It's all about volume, it's all about single shots and single targets. And we have joined the PRL, which is Precision Rifle League 22 out of the USA. Now, we've joined the American League, primarily because it's been very established, and this is very well run, with very organised course of fire that someone like us who is new to precision rifle shooting can learn from. So our intention is to do the Winter League, which is six rounds, five course of fire per round for a winter championship, and then we will join the American PRL 22 League from their new season in next May. But ahead of that, we've joined the system already and we have got ourselves set up ready to go. Now precision rifle shooting is partly a title and parts are complicated. Generally speaking, it's single shot type stuff shot at targets at distances anywhere from between 25 and 100 yards using 22 calibre rifles. They tend to be bolt action, but there's no classification, you can use a semi-auto if you want to. And each course of fire starts with a particular kind of apparatus that you need to shoot from, in this case a tank trap. And what the course of fire can say is shoots targets from different levels or the position and that will be designated the course of fire. So all the targets, they could be at 25 yards, 50, 60, 80, 100 yards or anywhere in between. And they're all against the clock. Generally speaking, of 120 seconds, some of the courses of fire are, are scored, so the faster you are, the more points you score, and some are. So I'm a question of taking your time so you get the good shots in. There are different kinds of apparatus. We have ladders, we have tyres, we have buckets, we have chairs, we have tank traps, and everything is designated by the course of fire from, uh, from the USA. So what happens, the course of fire is published, and each range, including us, will be able to set up the course of fire using those prescribed items to shoot those prescribed targets. All the targets are steels, they're a combination of spinners or the little uh, plate targets that you hit and the pin to hit, and it's very easily scored. Most of the time each of the targets are different sizes, so there are different points per target. Some of them are simply a hit to move on. For example, some of the spinning targets, some of the smaller as a quarter inch in size, you spit hit to spin, move on to the next target. But every course of fire is different, and every course of fire is slightly different how you adjust it. Generally the rifles you tend to use tend to be bolt action. You can use semi-auto, but generally speaking, bolt action is preferred because they're more accurate generally in distance. So I've got our brig position that we use here, one of our club guns. And all I've done is basically fit it with a fork cork scope, a decent bipod, and also one of these things that Black Rifles brought out. It's a little bag that attaches to the gun. Now normally you're shooting off bench, etc. the bag is just hanging around, but as you can see when you're shooting on something at an angle, bipod's no good. You want something nice at the angle to hold on to. And this little bag that the Black Rifle have done is very, very good. So it allows us to sit in different positions. I've been practicing today with it. And it makes a huge difference in terms of positioning. But bolt action, so it means you don't have any speed of fire. And what you're looking at, sometimes you're limited to a number of rounds. Um, 10 round magazine is normal. And you have to shoot in different distances and different targets. Now the Winter League, we're also putting together in the same day as our Shield Sights Practical Mini Rifle League, which is now our third year of running the Winter League. So the idea of the course of fire is that you'll be to come along and shoot in the morning, do the Precision Rifle League, then the afternoon, if you wish to, shoot the Practical League. You use the same gun if you need be. I've tried shooting this with my Chris Vector. I must admit, <laughs> the bolt action was more accurate for me, but I was quicker with the Vector as I'm used to it. So there's no real right or wrong which gun to shoot. I may well try shooting both for fun of it. But something for you to try. There are lots of Precision Rifle Leagues in the UK now. We've just gone with the American one because it's very well organised, it's very well stable. It's very organised in terms of courses of fire that we can easily pick up because we're not experts in precision rifle shooting, so we want to make sure we do it right. And also the entry fee is quite low as well. £10 entry for our members, £20 entry if you're not a member, to do five courses of fire. Um, should be good fun. Thank you for watching. We'll, do, we'll start putting the video of these out as well. I will admit it's not quite as exciting to video to put on new to compared to practical shooting, but it's still quite enjoyable to shoot. And it's quite a nice combination. So you can come along here during the winter league and shoot precision rifle league in the morning, then do practically afternoon or vice versa for the Shield Sites Practical Winter League as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Give it a go, you may like it. All you need is a gun. Um, you don't need to be particularly great at the gun, just make sure it's distance-wise so you can get on, but it's good fun. Thanks for watching. Cheers.